Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we solve inequalities using the balance method. So if you haven't already looked at the video of solving equations using the balance method, I highly recommend you do because the method is exactly the same. So definitely have a look at that before uh, coming on to this video because um, I'm going to be using exactly the same method. So let's get cracking then with the first example. So you'll notice that it's very similar to an equation, except instead of having an equal sign, I've got an inequality. Now, for the sake of solving this, we just ignore it. We treat it as an equal sign in many respects because the method is exactly the same. So I want to get x on its own, in which case I'm going to get rid of this plus 11 first. So to get rid of anything from a side, we do the opposite. So if it's plus 11, I'm going to minus 11 from both sides. So minus 11 from both sides. So on the left hand side, I'm still going to have uh, 6, uh, sorry 6x, and then I'm going to have my inequality sign, it stays exactly the same, and then 29 take away 11 is 18. Okay, so that's the first step. And again, as I said, I want to get x on its own. So at the minute it's 6x, which means 6 times x. So I do the opposite. So I want to divide both sides by 6. And obviously 6x divided by 6 gives me x. My inequality sign stays the same. And 18 divided by 6 is obviously 3. Okay, and there we go, we've solved the inequality. X is less than or equal to 3. Okay, uh, exactly the same thing over here. Even though the uh, 3x or the x is over here on this side, doesn't matter, we still do exactly the same thing. So I want to get rid of the number first. In this case, it's minus 4. So I'm going to do the opposite and plus 4 to both sides. Notice I'm showing my working underneath uh, each side. Okay, so obviously 11 plus 4 will give me 15. Then the inequality symbol stays exactly the same. And obviously I'm left with 3x on the right-hand side. And uh, next step then, 3x means 3 times x. So I do the opposite, I divide by 3. Uh, 15 divided by 3 is obviously 5. The inequality sign stays the same and x is on the right. Key thing, if x is on this side, stays on this side. If x is on this side, stays on this side. Okay, there is one exception to that, which I'll come on to later on. But for now, as long as you just keep working your way down, using the balance method, you'll get the answer right. Okay, this one here then. So I've got 2x plus 5, all divided by 3. First thing I want to do is get rid of that divide by 3. So I'm going to do the opposite and times both sides by 3 which will leave me with 2x plus 5, and then the inequality sign stays the same, and then 21. Then it's just the same as these two up here. I'm going to minus 5. So I'll be left with 2x, inequality sign stays the same, and then 21 uh, minus 5 is obviously 16. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2 in front of the x. So I'll come up here and finish it off. x, inequality sign stays the same, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay. Next one here again is slightly different. This time I'm not dividing everything by 2, it's just the x that's being divided by 2. So I'm going to leave that for now, and I'm going to get rid of this minus 3. So to do that, I do the opposite, and I add 3. Uh, so I'll have 5 on that side. The inequality sign stays the same. And then I've still got x divided by 2. Now I can get rid of that divide by 2 by doing the opposite and timesing by 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Inequality sign stays the same. And obviously then I'm left with x. And we're done. Uh, this one here, uh, just the same as before solving equations. If you've got some brackets, expand the brackets first. So I'll just come over to the side here and expand these brackets. If you're, not on, if you're unsure how to expand brackets, make sure you check out the expanding single brackets video that I've done. Uh, so 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. So 3x plus 6. 
and inequality sign stays the same. And then I've got my eight. And it's just exactly the same as the previous two, uh, sorry, first two examples. I want to get rid of this six first, so minus six to both sides. That leaves me with three X. Inequality symbol stays the same. Uh, eight take away six is obviously two. And then I'm going to get rid of the three in front of the X. So I divide by three. So X. The inequality symbol stays the same. 2 divided by 3, leave it as a fraction, 2 thirds. Okay. Now, this one here, we'll notice that this is a bit different because it's minus 2x. Now, there's two ways you can do this. For me personally, whenever I've got a minus 2x or minus x or minus 3x or minus 4x, I turn it into a positive. To do that, all you do is just add it. So if I add 2x to both sides... I'll have 16, inequality symbol stays the same, and then obviously 2x plus 8. Then it's just the same as these two here, so I would minus the 8. So 8, inequality symbol, and then obviously 2x. Then I'd divide both sides by 2, which would leave me with 4 is greater or equal uh, to x. Okay, so that's the way I would do it. If you've got a negative, uh, make sure you turn it into a positive by adding them to both sides, and away you go. However, what some people might do is exactly the same method as these ones and get rid of that number first. So I'll just go through that one uh, that way just to illustrate something that happens. So I'll just copy out the question exactly the same. Now, if you were to get rid of that number first by taking away 16, you'd be left with minus 2x, then your inequality symbol, and minus 8. Uh, then you would divide by minus 2, and you'd be left with x is uh, greater or equal than 4, because minus 8 divided by minus 2 is 4. Now, as you can see, these are different. This one's saying that 4 is greater or equal to x. This one is saying that x is greater or equal to 4. Okay? So let's test it. If x is greater or equal to 4, well, let's call x, I don't know, uh, 5, okay, which is obviously greater than 4. So 2 times 5 is 10. Then 16 take away 10 is 6. So we're saying that 6 is greater than 8. Clearly that's not true. So this does not work. The thing you need to remember, that is, if you times or divide by a negative, you need to turn the inequality symbol around the other, other way. So you're still going to have x, you're still going to have 4, it's just your symbol is just turn the other way. So just to repeat that, if you divide or times by a negative, the inequality symbol just flips the other way. In which case, these are now the same, because x is bigger, sorry, 4 is greater or equal to x, 4 is greater or equal to x. They're both pointing at the x, they're now both correct. Okay, so that's why I do this one, because you're always dealing with positives. But if you did get into the situation where you had a negative, just remember if you divide or times by a negative, you flip that sign. Okay, so let's go on to some slightly trickier questions. Bear with me a second. Here we go. So in these ones, I've got variables on both sides, but again, the method is exactly the same as if we were solving equations. First thing I'm gonna do is have a look and see which one is the smaller. So I've got six X and two X. Well, clearly two X is the smaller one. So that's the one I'm gonna get rid of. So I'm going to minus 2x for both sides, which leaves me with 4x plus 3, inequality sign stays the same, and then 19. And then we're just back to the very first couple of examples we did. So let's get rid of that 3 by doing the opposite and taking 3 away to both sides. So I've got 4x, inequality sign stays the same, uh, 19 take away 3 is 16. Then I'll divide both sides by 4. And x, inequality sign stays the same. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And you're done. 
process is still exactly the same for these two. So 3x and 4x, they're on both sides. Get rid of the smaller one. So 3 is the smaller one here. So I'm going to minus 3x, because I need to do the opposite. So I'll have 9. Inequality symbol stays the same. 4x take away 3x is just x. And then obviously plus 5. And I want to get rid of that plus 5, so I'm going to minus 5 to both sides. So 9, take away 5 is 4. Inequality sign stays the same. And of course I'm left with x. And last one, just a little point to be aware of with this one. Minus 3k, minus 5k, which one's smaller? People make the common mistake of saying 3 is smaller than 5, but be careful because it's minus 3k, minus 5k. So minus 5 is smaller than minus 3. So that's the one I'm going to get rid of by doing the opposite. So therefore I'm going to add 5k to both sides, which will leave me with 7 plus 2k. Inequality sign stays the same, and then 12. Then I'm going to get rid of that 7, because K is on this side, so I want to get rid of the number. So there's 7. So I minus 7 to both sides. That leaves me with 2K. Inequality symbol stays the same. 12 take away 7 is 5. And you probably guessed it. I need to divide both sides by 2 now to get rid of the 2 in front of the K. And then 5 over 2, just leave it as a fraction. 5 over 2. Okay, guys, and that's how you solve inequalities. It's exactly the same method. And the only thing to be aware of is that the inequality symbol, instead of an, an equal sign, and if you times or divide by a negative, you just have to flip it round. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So hopefully that helps, guys. Cheers.